welcome to my premiere. You just watched my uh, teammate, Callie Pooh Bear, do her video and update on her bucket. So now I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of what's going on with my bucket here. All right, guys, I have the peas that are on the perimeter. What are these? Peas. No, what are the little things on the top? Oh, these are tendrils. Ah, look at the wind. She's not yet trained herself up. I she's see some trying over to, here, the little curly pieces. She's trying to escape. But yeah, I'm gonna, I put this whole cage, this little wire situation around it specifically so that they would have something to climb up on. There's one of the new peas that have come up, okay? So yeah, I, I have been planning so that if these don't make it, that I'll have new ones to come up to replace it. And here in the center, right here. Celery. I have my celery. I'm like, it was a lot greener and a lot fuller, but um, she is currently in transition. So we are going to allow her to, she's got like a good three weeks to rebound and, you know, get better. All right, I have this celery. This is another one that I've grown from a grocery store start. She in the bucket was a grocery store start also. And I had them both um, um, that I started from, you know, a piece of celery that I got in the store. You can see that this one is doing really well. And if I need to, I'm gonna go ahead. It's got new, like hair, it's like new growth. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She's doing very well. So again, like if I need to, I will have something to replace the celery in the bucket with. The next thing that I have in my bucket is some spinach or a spinach. Okay. I pick the spinach and I put the spinach there. She's there in the center. I had hoped for height with the, the, the garlic and the peas and you know, some height and a different color variation, a lighter, you know, more chartreuse green with the celery and then the dark green of the spinach. But again, I've also planned for backups for her too. So I'm gonna get up and show you the celery that's been growing over the winter in the box. All right, guys, I'm going to show you some spinach that I planted last season from seed and that's where I took the spinach that's in the bucket from. So these are these spinach plants here have been out here since November. The seeds I planted, I believe end of October, early November last year. So that's a um, my bad that I didn't research it and look to see what the spinach, you know, the size at maturity should be. So, but anyway, like I said, I have a backup or a couple backups there if I need it. All right. Yeah. All right, now I want to take a moment to talk about the lettuce that I have uh, put here in the container. This is a, a variety um, called like a new fire. It's a loose leaf lettuce. And um, I added this lettuce to the container to do some contrasting color. You know, I have the different greens and the height. So I figured that I would add this new fire lettuce with its purpley reddish leaf to kind of give it some color and variety. And this ruffle edge, I like this ruffly. <gasps> That's um, why they call shirts, let you know, they'll have like the shirts on be like lettuce edge. Le Look at look look at the garden. Look at me. What can Teaching I say? Some fashion um, terms. So yeah, so the ruffly edge there, and the color, I had hoped would Different you know variations. Add, yeah, <gasps> matches this box matches my bracelet. <laughs> it does. It's got the red, the pink. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I was hoping for some different colors, textures, and heights to go in the bucket. All right, and the last thing that I want to discuss- Garlic. Is the garlic. I initially had 
two oh, let me get cloves, two cloves of garlic in yeah. here. This one looks really nice. And it's it, shedding. Why is it shedding? You see that? It's not shedding. What's it's going just, on? That's just the stalk. Oh, it's like a snake. Okay, look here. Oh. And this was her partner. You know, I tried to do some symmetry, one on each side. Yeah. But um, the other day when I was looking in the bucket and handling her, the whole piece Thing just fell out. broke off. So I don't, I don't know because you know garlic is a uh, gets sort of like a bulb. I don't know what's going on under the ground if it's continuing to grow or not. But yeah, there they are. Other replacements and other things for that. Do we have replacements for the garlic? Oh uh, yeah. Where are they at? Let me show you guys. Follow me. I feel like I'm on um, the 21 questions for Vogue. Come here. Okay. Dude, and the ice cream truck again. I'm sorry about this ice cream truck. Let's hurry up so we can get my baby <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> Something off the ice cream truck. Yeah, this one looks like, really pretty. It looks this, like it's braiding. Yeah, that, it looks really nice. This is a Chesnock Red. All right. And I honestly don't think I'm going to dig it up and replace to... Um, replace yeah. the garden. All right, guys, that's the extent of what's going on in my bucket. And I have three weeks to get her up and growing and thriving, which I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to do. So um, that's, that's all I got to say about my bucket. And for all the other teams, you're not like us. You're going to have to just witness the, the, the greatness that is the soil soldiers. And we're gonna, we're gonna, um, I think we're not gonna gloat. Yeah, badly. no, being cocky will ruin it. Amy's Avengers, Bat Sauce, the Universe Soil teams. I'm, I, I, I just, I, I don't want to be condescending or, you know, make you guys feel bad, but. Mom, your acting is a little too good right now. <laughs> like, people might think this is serious. <laughs> All right, stay tuned and watch my teammate Jeff G's video. He's going to be up next. And Jeff is doing, he's growing in hydroponics. So that would be something very interesting for you guys to see. All right, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And let me know what you think. Bye. Bye. <laughs>